wait for everybody to finish their matches. Okay. But... Sky Raisin and Picano. Yep. Picano jumped right back into it. We had a couple people go to the restroom and everything else, so Picano stepped back in. Very fitting stage. It's blizzarding outside. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Where's Frankson looking at? It's like she's looking at the mirror, but uh, there's nothing there. All right. Did you pick um, a champ? No, he picked Lucario. I'll pick Lucario. I think this is a better pick. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's one of the... He can play this matchup with Machamp, though. He can, but it is hard. It's super hard, yeah. And especially with the kind of, like, erratic play style. Exactly. Oh, yeah, even a react... Even then, a reaction play style is definitely not... Is definitely going to be a challenge. Yep, so the kind of able to punish that extreme speed call-out. Oh, yeah. So he was trying to actually e-speed the follow-up, but Kano went backwards instead of forward yep. on the follow-up. Kano's super good at just knowing when to do that. He'll go forward when he feels like he needs to, he'll go backward when he feels like he needs to. Able to stuff out the counter, Sky well, Raisin. Super big counter range, by the way, on Lucario. Nice, aware nice awareness that he's not able to, he wasn't able to get the wall. Yep. Snuffs out that counter with 8x. Timed it really well. So this is what you gotta do, you just gotta get away from Lucario, make him approach you. He does have a really good. He does have a really good per, uh, projectile in the form of a forest sphere. You time everything right, you're not going to have to deal with that very much. Sending him back into field phase here. The car, Mega Lucario coming out in the Molga. Oh, snuffed Ooh. out the burst. I actually, yeah, it snuffed out the burst. I didn't think Skyrim would pull his burst out that early. Mm -hmm. that, is, that Molga on the Synergy Burst call, you do have to respect it. You yep. can actually ease, uh, extend its state away from it as well. Oh, he does get that on the drop, too. Is he going to be able to... No. I was trying to see if he could air stall with the Aura Sphere, but he's not he, able to. He can't air stall after that first one. Oh, no. so stall, right? Yeah. Well, he did that stall. He can't do another one, can he? So he went for the dash, mm -hmm. and you're able to go for the Aura Sphere after the dash. Oh, okay. But he still probably would have caught his feet. But anyway, game number two. Yep. The Kano trying for the forward Y. Skyrim trying for his own forward Y. That goes in with the Bone Rush instead. That was a good Bone Rush. Going for the Emolga. He will jump over it. He gets the, to nix the E-Speed. I like that. The Emolga. Or Emolga Fennekin. There's too many Emolgas going on right now. Skyrim isn't calling out the counterattack from Pagano. Yep. Bone Rush, and this is a lot of damage. Pushes him up on the wall. Ooh, he gets the full hit on that uh, Force Palm, the most powerful part of the hit. Mm -hmm. uh, JY. He does get that full counter. Kong slamming him back down onto the ground and gets the Oki, pushes him against the wall. Uh-oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. It's the wall splat. Down to 67 damage now. Bringing it back up to under 24 with that burst. Kong's trying to close it out here, goes to reverse himself, but it actually spends it pretty early. Exactly. Hmm. Uh -oh. oh, and the projectiles, wow. Uh, yep, that's going to be a punish. Or no, it actually... Yep. This will be a punish. Wow. I thought the item Wolga was going to hit. So you did held on to it just a little bit longer. Exactly. Alright. Kyle getting that synergy nugget. Yep. Nice backdash. Tries to go for the bigger one. Tries to go for the smackdown on it. Gets the grab in. Already back almost with his burst. Does he, I think he runs special then. Mm -hmm. I didn't see where, what he ran. <laughs> see, Sky Raisin getting really cheeky here with those bone rushes and trying to hit him out of the counter attack. Yeah. Well, Makano is releasing his counter attack a little too early, so he's actually getting hit by that bone rush. Doesn't get hit by that counter. Once again, getting baited out and punishing. Wow. <laughs> with the grab into the wall splat, bringing him down to 274, evening this up pretty well. Yep, and Mulga will hit. Does have that attack buff though. Yep. I'm calling out the burst here. And then yep. Sky Raisin following. Both sitting about the same health. Uh, just kinda... Oh, he snuffs out the burst! Wow! Uh oh, but this is a oh, lot of damage. Oh no. Pushes him up against the wall. And a shoulder charge at the end. I do. Oh, snuffs out gosh. his own burst. Forward Y. Two snuffed bursts in one round. Goes for the chip setup. Ah, counters a little too early. Last Skyrim hit up for both players, and then oh. Skyrim is going for the hard read. That was super hard read. That could have, like, yeah, that would have ended him mm -hmm. if Kana would have done probably anything else. 
that wasn't an attack. All right, getting into game two here. No changes whatsoever. Nope, both players are going with it. Surprises. Uh, it seems like Kano's leaning away from Charizard. Maybe just for this matchup, or maybe he's just going to be going racing the entire time. He might want to be trying to because he didn't go against the heavy boy earlier, which I don't blame him. I I wouldn't like the Gengar matchup with Charizard either. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like you would have anything to say on that matchup. Uh, not any more than breaks in, I suppose. Yeah. Because I feel like Charizard has a lot more stuff that Gengar can go over, go under, than Brakeson has. Everton in field is pretty easy. Yeah. And with Kano, making Ooh. it look easy, pushes them against the wall. Oh, but it releases his counter just a little too early. That was the round. That was, yeah. Moldy yep. gonna hit. Just hoping to get that little bit, little bit of a hit right at the end before Moga hit him. Get away, get, get away from the wall. And then he's got to play the approach game. So now... Uh, Sky Raisin not electing to see ADC any of those projectiles. Yep. And so not building burst. But sitting with a red shield one hit will actually stop oh, it. The shield is so crispy. But none of these hits are going to break that shield. There's not a lot that breaks and has that can break this shield right now. Boomerang's probably going to be the only thing, but he'll see that coming. So he does have only 20, he has 20 seconds to make this happen, about 15 yep. now. But Tony, Kano just putting up this wall, but he's going to punch with the Emolga, but it's going to yep. trade with the Embers. That was a good idea from um, Sky Raven mm -hmm. pulling out that Emolga. Unfortunately, he just didn't have enough HP to do it. So that side Y is very punishable, but the Kano not able to punish, but it gets the forward Y to stuff out to see DC. Call on the Emolga. He actually was able to shield it in time. That was that was pretty impressive. Moga coming out for the Sky Raisin. Pekano holding on to the counterattack long enough this time and gets the full punish. Oh, he gets the short hop JX. And quite a bit of damage there. Evening it up. Nice tech and then the <laughs> grab back. I like it. Pekano charging up that sunny day. Able to get it and gets the attack buff on the phase change. Yep. I'm really liking Pekano's patience here. He's rewarding him so much. And then he knows exactly when to go into Ooh. his offensive play. Skyrim's kind of getting blown up for his lack of patience here. Mm. Last hit situation again. Probably could have speeded him right there. Yep, Horsefair does beat out most projectiles that Brixton has. Kind of just needing mm. one final hit here. He's, he's fishing for it too. And he gets in with the boomerang. Oh man, I am loving Pecano's play right now. Mm -hmm. Just really setting up that wall of projectiles. The Sky Racing doesn't have a way to get around it. See, so he, he's almost playing a very aggressive zoning game. We're just throwing a lot of projectiles on the screen and making, uh, locking Sky Racing down. Oh yeah, definitely. Not bringing his shield too, keeping him like, keeping him on his shows like, when is my shield going to break? Mm -hmm. Keeping it red. Not letting it recover at all either. So we do go to the character select screen. We'll see if Sky Raisin's going to elect for Machamp, which is on paper a way worse matchup. But of course, Machamp <laughs> being Sky Raisin's true main, so just a little bit more comfortable because he's more comfortable with the character. Yeah, definitely. So he, he definitely knows how to get around more of the projectile wall with Machamp than he does with Lucario. Mm -hmm. So I think he could do it though. He can, it, but it, does, it just takes a little practice on familiarity with the character, and we do see him switch over to the Machamp. So one of those situations yep. where almost picking a worse matchup, but just him as a player knows the character a lot better. So. Definitely. I see this working out in Sky Reason's favor, but Picano's projectile game is just, mm -hmm. it's phenomenal right now. Yeah, so if he keeps up this aggressive zoning style with Machamp, then he definitely will not have a problem. Yep. Bringing him close like that, uh, and putting himself up against, almost putting him himself up against the wall. He used Wake Up Slap mm -hmm. to get rid of that Fire Blast. That was great. All right. It's a full combo here for Picano. Pushes him back out in the field, and goes straight <laughs> for the grab. Pushes him back into duel. I like it. Goes for the Sunny Day, double Sunny Day, so he's able to get the confirm Fire Spin. He does get. Oh, he wasn't able, able to get confirm. the last screen. Probably if he would have done 2-Y. That's going to confirm. He's sitting right now on a perfect. Goes for the offensive Fennekin. Gets Sky himself out of the corner. I like that. 
I'm gonna trade. I just hand on the shield there. On the, on the wall there. That was great. Alright. Doing it right before uh, Frogadier came out. Then Boomerang. It'll take Picano sitting on match point here. Yeah, guys. It is 1 1. Sky Risen. Picano. Picano sitting on match point. Has full Emolga here as he goes in the game ga number two. Not able to outlast the Boomerang. That's such a hard move to outlast with counter. But he is able to outlast the Emolga yeah. with the air stall. Ooh, barely doesn't get hit by that counter there. Making this, making this shield pretty crispy right now. Oh, then there it is. This is some oh. of the pressure coming out from a champ. Throws her against the wall and keeps her at the wall. Flamethrower. Push him back. Let's get another flamethrower. Not doing a lot of damage, but he's pushing Ooh. the champ back. Picano not able to low stance that counterattack. Problem is, the champ's not doing very many error based attacks. So. Rixon could have probably just jumped out of there at any point. Kind of a weird air tech there from Sky Raisin. Ooh. Puts himself back against the wall. Give himself a lot of health back. Put him back to 220. And a free sunny day. The Kano's sitting on burst now, and now with an attack up. Kano's going crazy right now. Yes, I really like this from Kano. I really want him to take this here. Ooh. Oh. Not able to confirm. Goes for the grab. Bam! Ah! <laughs> oh, and there goes his burst. That was a demoralizing oh. hit. See, see if he can jump out of the corner. He's not going to. Skyrim's going for the burst. That was a good idea from Skyrim. Yep. And yep. Yep. Burst. Punish. Oh, oh that's not going to hit he me because he missed. Get hit by that. He didn't miss the. He did not hit the initial hit. But oh my gosh! Oh my. That's whoa. Oh. That was like, that was like right at his face. <laughs> that was right there. How did he not get hit by that? That was amazing. See if Picano can take this. Skyrim's and fighting back, showing that he has signs of life. Yep. It is final round, though. Kano's got a pretty good lead going. He does have burst. Yep, gets the crit grab. Oh, he's... Sky Raisin able to go for the jump all day, and then went for just the grab. Yep, he will most likely be getting burst this round. Oh, this is good good damage from Brakeson, though. No, not going for the confirm. Mm -hmm. This is 5 wire confirm if it's a short Rolls one. Rolls through it. Missing There's the combo. So it gets it right back. <laughs> Setting up the chip. Wow. All right, see, Picano in a great situation, has about 40% of his synergy left. Goes goes for the run-up right. super. That's all right. Get the yeah. additional chip. Picano really close here. Going for the boomerang. Skyrim has to be super, Grab. super patient. Oh, they, they could have been it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now Skyrim and having burst. Yep, he does have burst now. This is going to be scary. Picano has to do a lot more work now. Oh, uh, that's gonna not gonna. That's gonna. It is gonna hit. And that should be a game. Is that a game? Yeah, that's gonna be a game. Super close set there oh by both my players. Oh gosh. Yep, and that's it. Oh no. That was so close. Great job there by Picano. Really setting up that wall, and he had the game in that field phase. Say, so if he was able to grab that Frogadier call or break the shield from Sky Raisin, that would have been the game. That would have been in his favor. Game. But. Sky Raisin knew exactly when to go offensive. He knew exactly when to do it, mm -hmm. and I love it. Mm -hmm.